hello. Um, come to carry on this project, which has become a lot bigger than I was expecting. So, I have, this is bag three, which I haven't used yet. This was what I created using bag four. This was a card. I did film this, um, but it didn't film. And since it didn't film, I've then edited it and made it into something different. So basically, I didn't really like the little notebook I made. So I cut the card front off and I've added it to another little notebook. Because I'm going to create this, it's kind of, kind of a Wendy style ring bound journal really now is what it's become. It's funny how you get an idea and your project kind of evolves as you're, as you're working. Um, but this is going to go in as one of the little notebooks. So that's um, very, very simply done. And because I'd already sewn the signature in the main card, I've glued it an edge, which is going to be used in the, in the journal. Um, I made the signature and I sewed the signature together, just the pages. And I've just attached it into this new cover with two pieces of fabric. So that's that was bag four. So bag four has been covered. Bag three I'm still going to come back to. Bag five is also going to be at the end because that's kind of embellishing really. I'm going to move on to using the item that I sent to Corey. So one of the things I sent to Corey was, I'm pretty sure, is book cover. Um, so I've got two book covers here. The other thing I sent to Corey, and I'm pretty sure this was right, was I sent her a page from the photography um, photograph album, a Victorian style photograph album. I'm pretty sure I sent Corey one of these. And these are now going to form my cover. This is not quite the right size. If I grab some of the pages, it's not perfect. Um, I'm gonna have things hanging out of the edge and I've got room at the top and the bottom. Um, obviously I'm gonna put some plain pages in here too. So I've got a front and a back and I've got this, which is rather large. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to end up with two pieces. I'm going to draw around, cut this out and ink this up and I'll be back. Okay, so here are my two pieces and I kind of, I didn't quite cut them correctly. So they're not perfect, but I'm okay with that, I think. So I had this kind of idea to use this as a back and a front cover. I think I'm gonna have that one as my front and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have this on the back yet or whether I'm gonna, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll have it in the on the back. So front cover, back cover. Now, what I think I'm going to do, see if I can find some book pages. Um, See if I can find, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, I like that. That's quite a nice one. I think what I'm gonna do is I might actually print off an actual photograph. It might be quite nice to put a photograph in here. Okay, so this is from the um, Family Ties kit. So I've printed one of those and I've also printed the back. Obviously I printed the whole thing, so, but that might be quite nice as a front and back cover. Although that's quite nice as a front cover too. Oh, I don't know now. You think you've got an idea no, let's go. Let's go. I, like, I don't like the way I've cut that. So that's going to be on the back. This is going to be the front, I think. I think I'm going to do this. 
that's quite cool isn't it what i'm gonna do is grab my scrap box okay i'm just gonna audition a few pieces Okay, I think I think I like something something like this. I'm not not a hundred percent sure, but I'm getting there. Um I'm gonna just I'm not sure about this piece here. I think it might be a little bit big. Um I think I might need some kind of pin in that. Um this will need sewing. Oh that's actually quite thin. I'm gonna be okay stitching through this. So what I'm going to do is grab my brush and my vintage photo. I'm just going to turn this over because I'm going to add some ink, but I don't want to add ink to the front. So I've got my vintage photo and I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of ink around this portrait just to give it a little bit of age or an aged look to it and this is a um i'll show you the paper i've printed this photograph on this is the paper i've used let's just move that cover out of the way and you can see now how that looks Yeah, that's much better. Okay, I'm going to trim a little bit more of this off. Now I know roughly where the hole is. So I'm can, I can now add some glue. Just being careful not to glue where I've inked. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue around the aperture hole here. Right, now, moment of truth. Can I line this up? Jobs are good. Un. So I quite like that. Now, I'm going to sew around here. I'm just going to have one last little look still reasonably sure that's what I want but I'm just going to sew around here okay I'm quite happy with that um I decided to quickly add a tab here before I started to sew um so that bit will be um encased behind the book cover if I left it it would with the book cover it would make it too thick to add that tab to so I've added the tab here um I have stitched down here and I've left a little space for my rings but I'm pretty sure I haven't left enough room so what I'm going to do is when I glue this on I'm going to make sure I put a really good bead of glue underneath this stitching so when I punch my holes wherever they may be if they go through the stitching hopefully the stitching won't unravel it's no big deal if it does um, it's tatty it's going to be a tatty looking journal so that's fine and I'm just going to be like 100% sure what I want to do with this. I kind of like that lace. And I like that piece of little red pop there. I like the green. I think a stitch along here will be needed. Now it's just whether I add this or not. And I think I am going to add that there. What I intend to do is I'm going to run a stitch across here. Um, and just think about whether I want to sew it straight. I quite like that little, can you see that little butterfly there? Have him peeking through there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew this in one go. So I managed to get the little butterfly there. 
Now what I can do is just grab my glue and just glue a little bit of this fabric in place. I know it's not going to go anywhere because it has got that um, that stitch going all the way through there. And I've still got a little space to add pins or a dangle or something on here and to here too. So I'm quite happy with that as a front cover. <clears throat> I'm going to keep the back fairly plain. All I'm going to do to the back is glue my photo in place. Let's just add some ink like we did with the other side. And I'm going to sew this the same. Okay, so that's my back cover and my front cover done. I'm not going to put holes in because I don't know what I'm going to do on the insides as yet. Um, but I am going to glue these into place ready for the next video. And we can move on to putting um, the holes in and putting some pages together. So thanks for joining me for this quick one today. I'll see you soon. Bye.